So yeah, man, I fell like five fucking feet off of the fucking banister, man, and I hit the ground. What? Couldn't see anything or taste anything, but I knew I was bleeding. What the fuck were you doing on the banister anyway? Well, see, we just got this new satellite thing hooked up, and I couldn't get a fucking signal. It said something about, uh, takes five minutes to gather information. I don't know about you, but I want to watch Oprah right fucking now. Okay, first of all, you're gay. But, and do you care about your own ass, man? Every time you talk to me, you're telling me about how you fucked yourself up somehow. It's funny that you should ask me that. Because it wasn't until after I stood up and, uh, walked around a little bit that I realized that my testicles and my body were in two different areas of the front yard. Wait, what? How the fuck did that happen? You said it was like five feet. I don't know, man, but judging by the size of the scratch, I must have clipped myself on one of the lawn gnomes or something. It's pretty bad. It made me realize that I should take better care of myself. That's when I picked my balls up and made up my whoa, mind. Whoa, 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 wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. So where are your balls now? Did you go to the fucking doctor? Well, I was on my way to the doctor, but I got fucking hungry. So I went and got myself some McDonald's <laughs> and came by here. Right. Oh, oh, they're in these. They're in this cup right <gasps> on the ice. What the fuck, man? So what you're telling me right now is that th that's your balls in the cup right now. Those are your balls in that cup on the ice. Yeah, yeah. You, you, what's wrong with you, dude? You're acting like you've never seen balls in a cup before. Don't act brand new on me.